Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is our call to worship. Make a joyful shout to the Lord. Amen. 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 Serve the Lord with gladness. Yes. Yes. Come before his presence with singing. Yes. Know that the Lord, he is God. Yes. It is he who hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people yes. and the sheep of his pasture. Yes. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. Yes. His mercy yes. is everlasting. Yes. And his truth yes. endureth to all generations. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. We are Amen. grateful that he's given us another opportunity to come into the house of prayer. Amen. 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 As I desire this morning to lift up his holy name. Amen. Amen. For he is worthy of all praise Amen. and the adoration. Amen. To those who are viewing in with us on this morning, we greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. We pray that you will have a wonderful day this morning serving with us. Amen. We don't want to prolong. We want to go right into our songs of praise. Amen. So we just ask that every voice will just lift to the highest heights of praise. Yes. We glorify our Father. Amen. 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 Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The church say amen. Amen. For so this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. Amen. 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 Everybody who can stand, please stand for the reading of God's word. Everybody that can stand, especially the young people. Amen. Amen. Our morning scripture is coming from John, the third chapter. Yes. Verses of one through seven. All right. John chapter three, verses one through seven. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, yes. a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, but no one can do these signs that you do it. If, unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Most assuredly I say unto you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say unto you, unless one is born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Yes. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Oh, yes. Marvel not, I say unto thee, he must be born again. May God have a blessing to the reading and to the hearing of this holy word. Amen. 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 Just lift it up. Yeah. We ask, Lord, that they look to you yeah. as they should, 
Father, for guidance to in anything and any decision that's made. Thank you. We ask, Lord, that you bless every minister of the Second Baptist bless Church. You. Bless every deacon, every auxiliary, yeah. every member, Father. We just ask, Lord, that you continue to lift us up, Father. Yeah. Help us to be the people you have called yeah. us to be. Thank you. Father, we just ask right now a special blessing upon the bereaved, Father. Yeah. We ask, Lord, that you touch them, Lord. Be a beacon of light to them, yeah. Father. Yeah. Yeah. Father, just bend their hearts, Lord. Touch. Just touch as only you can, touch. Father. Father, we just thank you, Lord, right now. Lord. Thank we you. ask, Lord, that you bless the seniors, bless the sick and the shut in. Bless yeah. those that are in hospital rooms yeah. and yeah. hospital yeah. beds yeah. right yeah. now, yeah. Father. Yes. Bless those that are behind prison walls, Lord. Yeah. We just thank you, Lord, yeah. that you can go. You can go where we can't go, Father. Lord. And we don't have to send you because you're already yeah. there. Yeah. We just thank you, Lord. Yeah. We had 10,000 tongues. We couldn't thank you enough. Yeah. This is our prayer, Lord. You, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Amen. We yeah. ask that you join in our devotional singing this morning. This morning hymn, Glory to His Name, can be found in the hymnal on page 136.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, church. It is time to prepare ourselves yes. to continue our worship All through right. our giving. Right. Yes. 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 The Lord loves a chill, cheerful giver. Yes, yes. 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 This morning, scripture reading for our offering is coming from Luke chapter 6. And we're looking at verse 38. Amen. Scripture reads, Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. I will now turn you over to the hands of our capable and lovely ushers and those that are viewing in virtually. Uh, you can contact us either through Givelify with your gifts or you can reach out to the contact information that is currently on your screen. Amen. And so I want to be in touch with
worship our God with our voices. We have praise to the highest heights of worship. But it's time to hear from the Lord at this point. Praise God for our speaker this morning. We ask you to continue blessing upon our pastor and his family. Yes. Yes. The Lord will continue to heal and restore. Yes. But we ask now that you would elevate your right hand and accept us to hear our speaker for the hour. And yes. none other than Reverend Mary Green. Yes. Yes. If you pray, the Lord our God will preach. It is our prayer that He would use Him mightily this morning. Amen. Reverend Reed. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. and Father, we come again. Thank you for another day. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us out again to the house of prayer. Now, Lord, we ask and pray that I would decrease, that you would increase. Help me to sit down that the Spirit of God would stand. Have your way, Lord. Help me to preach with convicting power, Lord. And when it is preached, Lord, let it be received with glad hearts that we may do and be what the word says. Thank you, Lord, again for all those under the sound of my voice, those who are listening now, those who are listening uh, via the platforms that we are on, and those who will be listening in the future. It is our prayer that you would be praise and glorified in this message. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Amen. 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 Luke chapter 23 starting at verse 26 through 46. Luke chapter 23 Starting at verse 26 through 46. And it reads, And as they led him away, they laid hold upon Simon, a Cyrenian, coming out of the country. And on him they laid the cross, that he might bear it after Jesus. And there followed him a great company of people and women, which also bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus turning unto them said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Yes. For behold, the days are coming in which they shall lay, they shall say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bear and the paps that never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say in the mountains, Fall on us and to the hills cover us. For if, the, if they do these things to a green tree, what shall be done in a dry tree? That's enough. So read the scripture. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers and hearers of his word. Our text for this morning is the man in the middle. All right. The man all right. in the middle. I will keep on reading. I didn't want to keep you all standing. But I will keep on reading at verse 32. And there were also two other male factors led with him to be put to death. And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the male factors, one on right hand and the other on the left. And then said Jesus, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And they parted their raiments and cast lots. And the people stood beholding the, and the the rulers also with them 
derided him, saying, He save others, let him save himself. If he be Christ, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And the superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. Mm -hmm. And one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be the Christ, save thyself and us. Mm -hmm. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Thus not thou fear God, seeing that thou art in the same condemnation? Mm -hmm. And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deed. But this man has done nothing a miss. Yeah. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Yeah. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the earth until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Mm -hmm. Amen. The man in the middle. Amen. <clears throat> a police lineup or identity parade is a process by which a crime victim or witness or witnesses offer punitive identification of a suspect that if confirmed, leads to conviction that can count as evidence at a trial. The suspect, along with several other individuals of similar height, complexion, and build, these can be prisoners, actors, or just random people off the street, stand facing in the profile room while the person making the identification views from behind a one-way mirror. If the victim or witness successfully identifies the suspect from among the similar appearing individuals, the identification is considered valid. For evidence from a lineup to be admissible in court, the lineup itself must be conducted fairly. The police may not say or do anything that persuades the witness to identify the suspect that they prefer. This includes loading the lineup with people who look very dissimilar to the suspect. Mm -hmm. How many folk? Take your time. How yes, many sir. people? Yes, sir. Have been put in jail for crimes that they did not commit just because they fit the description. Right. Right. How many sit in jail today because they were in the wrong place right. at the wrong time? Yeah. Right. Right. We all know this scene all too familiar. Mm -hmm. right. But let's look at Jesus. Let's look at Jesus. Well, what did this man who is now sentenced to be crucified do? What did he do? What, what, what was so bad that his own people would rather set criminals free right. than Jesus? Right. Well, what, what crimes did he commit to be counted in with the vilest of offenders. Right. Did he murder? No. Did he rob? No. Did he steal? No. Did he kill? Mm. Did he commit adultery? Mm. Was he a, a traitor? Was he a blasphemer? Uh, was he a sorcerer? It, what was he? I mean, what damning evidence of any kind is there to support these allegations of high crimes and misdemeanors? Right. Well, well, what evidence? All he did was be born in poverty, raised in a ghetto, called Nazareth. All he did was at the age of 12, confounded the scholars, the lawyers and the doctors in the temple by his knowledge of the word. All he did was turn water into wine yeah. at a wedding. All he did was gave the fishermen the biggest catch 
that their nets could hold. All he did was astonish the people as he taught with authority. Amen. All he did was cast out unclean spirit of a man in the synagogue. All he did was heal the sick. Right. That's what he did. Right. All this man in the middle did was heal Peter's mother-in-law of a fever. That's right. This man in the middle healed a man with leprosy. This, right. this man in the middle healed the centurion's paralyzed servant. Yeah. Right. This man in the middle raised the dead. Yes, yes. This man in the middle calmed the raging storm by speaking peace. Be still. Yeah. This man in the middle fed 9,000 plus folks. Yeah, my math is right. That's one time he did 5,000, the other time he did 4,000. All this man did was walk on water and told the elements of nature to be still. Is that right? All this man did, all this man did was so walk did. through a crowd of people on, on one day and a woman came up behind him and said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. All this man did was offer the kingdom of God to all. And, and, and isn't it amazing that with all of these good things that he'd done, that somebody didn't like him. Right, right. You, you can do all the good you want to do in the world, but I guarantee you, somebody ain't going to like it. You can treat everybody right, try to be nice to people, but they still treat you funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they still roll their eyes yeah, yeah. at you. They, they still talk about you outside and inside of the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 but they don't understand that even while they have you on trial, right. even while they are scandalizing your name, even while they are about to nail you to a cross, right. that they too are assisting God to help you get to your destiny. I will forgive them for they know not what they do. You are helping me get to my destiny. If, if, if I keep my hand in God's hand, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you're helping me. They, they are helping to accomplish the purposes of God in our lives. Yeah, but you got to keep your hand in God's hand. Something about the church, that's why it is so important not to allow the actions of people dictate or facilitate a response out of you that is not showing that you walk with the Lord. Don't let them do it. Amen. At times, yeah, 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 at times, the devil peeks his ugly head. And before we know we done said something we ain't supposed to say. But if you're walking with the Lord, he, Lord help that still small voice is going to know beforehand and say, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peace be still. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Psalms 37, 1 through 3, King David says, Fret not thyself because of evil doing. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they soon shall be cut down like the grass, right. and wither as a green herb. And there, and here is the prescription. Trust in the Lord yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. and do good. Yeah. Yeah. If we can get the, the church of God to trust in the Lord right. and do good. Yeah. Trust in the Lord yeah. and do yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. So shall you dwell in the land and barely thou shalt be fed. Yeah. That's all he did. Yeah. That's all he did. Yeah. Yeah. Just those few things. Yeah. And they were mad at him. Yeah. They wanted to kill him. Yet, he had to go through these trials. Trials by the Jews and, and trials by the Romans. Right. No attorney to plead his case. No one there to assist him through the legalities of understanding the Roman authorities. They were all trying to figure out what he had did wrong. Mm -hmm. They didn't know. Pilate didn't know. No. Herod didn't know. No. What did he do? That's so bad that you guys want to bring him to court. What did this man do? The Jewish leaders could not stand him because he said that he was the son of God. That's why they were mad. They said he was the son of God. The Christ, the anointed one, the king of the dead. That's why they were mad. But why is that a problem? Why is that a problem? It's a problem first because they didn't believe it. 
That's right. Yeah. They didn't believe it. Right. Somehow they didn't get the news of his baptism. Mm -hmm. Somehow when John, when he first saw John, mm -hmm. John said to him, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. Somehow they, yeah. they yeah. missed that. Yeah. Uh, they didn't get the news that, that God had opened the windows of heaven and sent the Holy Spirit to rest upon him and declared, yeah. yes, This is my beloved Son in yeah. whom I'm well pleased. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't get it. Yeah. They, they were absent that day. Right. Yeah. They weren't in class. Yeah. It, when, when nobody else will speak up for you, God will. Yeah. Yeah. This is my beloved son in whom yeah. I am well pleased. It's, it's the way you live. It's the way you walk. It's, a, it's the way you talk and, and how you carry yourself every day. Yeah. You know, they, they used to do a commercial when I was a little kid. <laughs> oh. Never let them see you sweat. That's right. Right. That was by Van Rolong. <laughs> Never let them see you sweat. Yeah. You, you, you can't let people get the best of you. Yeah. 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 Never let them see you sweat. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Old church used to say, don't let the devil ride. Right. Right. You let him ride, he know what he can do. Right. Never let him see sweat. Right. You don't have to make no special introduction. God already has that covered. Yeah. Yeah. Second, the second thing. They thought it would be a threat to all of the Jews because in that day, Caesar was considered as God yeah. or the son of God. Mm -hmm. Yet, even Pilate declared that he found no fault yeah. in his yeah. hand. Right, right. Right. Mark chapter 15, verses 15 to 20 says that he was scourged and they led him to a place yeah. called the Praetorium. Mm -hmm. And there a scourging of Christ took place. Mm -hmm. They whipped him. Yes, with flagellum consisting of yeah. a wooden handle yeah. with metal tipped leather yeah. that had balls attached, metal balls attached to it, and bones and metal no, spikes sure. that were attached to it. Yeah. And yeah. they yeah. flogged yeah. him yeah. 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 all night long. Yeah. The, 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 the man in the middle. Yeah. All right. uh, one writer says that it was a fearful ordeal, ripping the flesh down to the bone, causing severe bleeding. Some of us, we get a cut, we about to pass out. <laughs> it, it was a beating in which, uh, which often many prisoners died from. Yeah. This act of being crucified was an excruciating, horrible yes, event. Yes, but that's what the man in the middle yes, went through. They began to beat him, mock him, spit yeah. in his face, put a crown of thorns on his head, yeah. hit him with the reed on his head, not me, hit him with the reed on his head, and all of that was the reality of the natural side. Uh -huh. Can you imagine the physical right. and mental pain that mm -hmm. Jesus had to yeah. go yeah. through? Yeah. And I know we said it over and over years and years, but we need to be reminded yeah. Yeah. of what he went through yeah. For you to sit here. What he went through for you to have a victorious life. What he went through for you to bring you back in relationship with Jesus Christ. He was beaten in the Jewish court and beaten in the Roman court. What happened on the spiritual side, the Bible says that he bore the sins of the entire world. Yet he knew no sin. He didn't do no sin. He bore it. Never committed any sin. Neither was sin found in him. He was blameless. He was spotless. Uh -huh. Yet, the record informs us in Philippians chapter 7, chapter 2, verse 7 through 11. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even the death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven yes, and yes. on earth and yes. under the earth, and yes, every sir. tongue confess yes. that Jesus yes. Christ yes. is Lord. Yes. To the glory of God the Father. Yes. Second Baptist, yes. Second Baptist, and future saints that are looking. Listen. I just don't want you to know about him. That's good. All right. That's good to know about yeah, him. Yeah. Church, churches are full of people who know about oh, Jesus. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, I know the, the, the devil that's knows right. who right. Jesus is. Right. Right. 
Jesus is. Yeah, yeah. The devil, he was there. He did all those things. He knows who Jesus is. But we, we don't want you to just know who he is. We want you to experience him in his power and in his suffering. And if we are to be the church in this day, we need to know him personally for power and for a life changing it. We got to know who he, we have to walk with him. He's got to talk with us. He's got to tell us that we are his own. And the joy we share. know yeah. who he is and we've got to walk with him. Time out for shucking and driving. Time out for coming here Sunday after Sunday sitting here. You gotta be about it. You gotta be about that life. Yes. Yes. And the reason you're sitting here today is because God wants you to hear that word. You have to be about that life. If you say you are a Christian, you need to live up to the responsibilities and the criteria of being a Christian. You ain't doing nobody no good. You ain't doing yourself no good. And you ain't doing the church any good. And you're not doing the kingdom any good. And you're not doing your community any good by shucking and jiving. Yeah. This man, who's this man in the middle? This man is the one that John the Baptist introduced in John chapter 1, verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The man in the middle came to us to free us yes. from the slavery of sin. Yes. You know, a couple a month ago I told you that we are a slave either to sin or unto Christ. Yes. But he came to free us from the slavery of sin and eternal damnation. He came to free us from lying. He came to free us from backbiting. He came to free us from fornication. He came to free us from adultery. He came to free us from hate and the hate. He came to free us from envy and those who rob and steal. He came to free us from laziness. Let me put a pin right there. There's a lot of lazy Christians. A lot of lazy Christians. You know who you are. That's all I'm going to say. He came to free us from pride. From selfishness. He, he, he came to free us from greed. He came to free us from proud looks. He came to free us from the abusers of alcohol. He came to free the abusers of drugs. He came to free the abusers of women. He came to free, to free the abusers of men. He came to free the abusers of children. The good news is that there is nothing that you and I have done that God can't clean up. That's the good news. That's the good news. That, there ain't nothing that you have done that God can clean up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we, the church, need to act like that. Stop looking at people when they come in here. Yeah, you might know they pass. But God cleaned you up. He cleaned them up. And the truth be told, he's still cleaning you up. Any habit Thank you, Jesus. that you can't break, God can clean it up. Right. Yeah. And make you into a new creature because all the sins can be washed away by the spotless, untainted, yes. unblemished yes. blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. The blood works for your past. Yes. The blood works for your present. Yes. And the blood works for your future yes. sins. Yes. And early Sunday morning, he got up and rose with all power in his hand. Yes, he did. Thank you, Lord. Yes, he did. That's why we call him Jesus Christ. He is the first to be risen from the dead. And, he's, Thank you, Lord. and he said in Matthew 28, all authority yeah. has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Yes, sir. This, 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 this man in yes. the middle. Yeah. Yeah. 
to some is an annoyance to be avoided. Mm -hmm. This man, yeah. they try to avoid Jesus. Yeah. This man in the middle is a hindrance to the plans of some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he'll mess up your plans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this man in the middle is not the ideal choice of some. I didn't choose this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this man in the middle breeds life changing to people that are not favorable to some. Uh -huh. yeah. So if you would today, let, let, let's take a trip to God Gotham's Hill. Allow the Spirit of God to teleport your you, spiritual mind to, to the scene. Mm -hmm. How many of us are, are willing to walk with Jesus to Golgotha uh -huh. this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what I propose to do. I, I, I want to take you to the cross. Uh -huh. I, I want you to see Jesus there. I want, I want you to see the man in the middle. I want uh -huh. you to see the man who's responsible for it all. I want yeah. you to see that he suffered. I want yeah. you to watch yeah. him as he yeah. died yeah. for the sins yeah. of all mankind. Yeah. The man in yeah. the middle. Yeah. There are three points of observation that leap out of the text for today. One, look at his compassion. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Two, look at his agony. Yeah. Three, uh -huh. look at his purpose. As, as we stand there gazing upon the man in the middle, let us look at his compassion. Let, yeah. us, let us look at his agony and let us look at his purpose. Yeah. His compassion. The, the compassion of Jesus is like none other. That's right. Yeah. What is divine passion? Compassion. Mm -hmm. The word compassion is defined as a suffering with another. Hence, sympathy, sorrow, mm -hmm. or the distress or misfortunes of another yeah. with the desire to help yeah, yeah. and to have pity. Yeah. That's from Miriam Webster's dictionary. All right. <laughs> the Greek word for compassion is splagmizomai. It is an emotion which moves a man to the very depths of his being. Mm -hmm. We cannot understand what compassion is by noting some, we can understand what compassion is by noting some of the occasion when it was demonstrated. Yeah. When Jesus saw the plight of the widow of Nain, mm -hmm. who lost her son, he had compassion on her in Luke chapter 7, verse yeah. 13. Yeah. Yeah. At the grave of Lazarus, he shed tears of sympathy yeah. for, those, for those whose brother had died. Yeah. When the Samaritan saw the woman who fell among the thieves who had been stripped of his clothes, wounded and left for dead, he had compassion yes. on him, Luke yes. 10 and 33. Amen. When the father of the prodigal son saw his son return home, emancipated, barefooted, and dressed in rags, uh -huh. he had Some compassion, yes. Luke 15 and 20. Yes. Hence the word yes. compassion yes. calls our mind a virtue of being able uh -huh. to identify with the plight of another mm -hmm. desiring uh -huh. to relieve his or her suffering. Yes. Yes. In our text, the prisoner set out for the place of execution. Mm -hmm. Jesus was made to carry his cross. Yeah. He must have been weak from the brutal flogging, and when it appeared he was about to collapse, the passerby was forced to carry it for him. That's this right. man, Simon, yeah. Srin, from northern, Af northern Africa, yeah. had apparently come to Jerusalem yeah. for the Passover. You can right. find that in Luke chapter 23, right. verse 26. Amen. Luke's account of the crucifixion includes a prophecy of the fate of Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Luke 23, 29 to 31, more emphasis on the men who experienced the crucifixion with Jesus in Luke chapter 23, verses 39 to 43, and the less stress mm -hmm. on the crowd uh -huh. That's right. uh -huh. that mocked Jesus. Yeah. It climaxes yeah. with Jesus' final prayer yeah. of yeah. trust in his Father right. Yeah. Right. in Luke chapter 23, right. verse 46. Mm -hmm. Father, into thy hands I yeah. commend my spirit. Yeah. And the reaction of various people to his death. Yeah. In Luke chapter 23, verses 47 to 49. Mm -hmm. That's right. In this version of the story, we may see an accent on the way in which Jesus died mm -hmm. as a martyr. Yeah. Innocent of the charges against him. That's right. Trusting to the end in yeah. God. Yeah. And yeah. assured of his own place in paradise, the whole scene vindicates the claim that he is. Yeah. That's right. He is. Yeah. That's right. Not was, or could be, yeah. or might be, uh -huh. or probably. Yeah. He is the Messiah. Yeah. 
the Son of God. Jesus came with his revolutionary message of God's kingdom. A kingdom accessible only by faith. Yeah. It required loving obedience to the king and father, as well as loving service to brothers and sisters mm -hmm. in God's family and yeah. to every member of the human family. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Love was in one was a one all inclusive law. Mm -hmm. Take your time. A love that Jesus spelled out on in his Sermon on the Mount. And, Matthew chapter 5. Yeah. And a love that fulfilled the Ten Commandments in Romans chapter 13, verse 10. Yeah. The controlling attitude and behavior in this born again society mm -hmm. was to be compassionate. Yeah. Yeah. The controlling attitude right. and behavior in this born again society Come on. was to be Come on. compassionate. Yeah. Yeah. Point. To demonstrate love in action. Yes, sir. And to provide caring concern for others, all of which was modeled by Jesus himself. Yeah. Yes. 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 We, we are to have the controlling attitude and behavior of a born again yes. society. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> mm. all right. What are the attitudes of all a right. born mm. Right. Again, yeah. society. Yeah. Yeah. Write that question down. You can ask yourself when you get home. <laughs> As God incarnate, incarnate, Christ flawlessly reflected his Father's nature, not only the divine holiness, but the divine heart of God. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Because he was sinless and most acutely sensitive to sin. Yeah. Jesus yeah. sympathized with sinful people who were suffering the consequences of inherited depravity mm. and personal sinfulness. Mm -hmm. He was aware that the multitude he ministered to were made up of sinners, Sin. yeah. most of whom were spiritually weak mm -hmm. and emotionally brittle. He realized, too, that in the crowds pressing around him were people whose faith was not burning brightly, mm -hmm. but was at best smoldering. Mm. He knew all that. Mm -hmm. He knew, and yet he had compassion. Yes, he, did. yeah. he didn't. He didn't. He didn't always get on them for the crowd, wow. yeah. for yeah. their lack of faith and their lack of trust. Right. He did bring it up, yeah. but he treated them with compassion. Yeah. 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 Gently, without judgment, yeah. Jesus tried to strengthen the weak and ignite their faith. Yeah. One Old Testament text that he continued to emphasize was Hosea 6 and 6, where God said, I desire mercy, yeah. not sacrifice, and acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offering. Jesus appropriated those significant words spoken by God himself to defend his tradition violating compassion. Mm. His tradition wasn't, his, his compassion wasn't like the compassion of normal people. Uh -huh. He broke the tradition yeah. of compassion. Yeah. He reset yeah. the, the standards on compassion. Second yeah. Baptist, we were sinking yeah. deep in sin. That's oh, right. yeah. Far yeah. from a peaceful shore. Yeah. 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 He saw us sinking. Yeah. Yeah. And he didn't say, hey, y'all sinking. <laughs> <laughs> His compassion caused him to do something about our condition. Yeah. 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 And from the waters, yeah. he lifted me. Yeah. Now say, am I? It was his compassionate yeah. love for children in, yeah. in Matthew 19 and 14 when the people had brought the children to Jesus to bless them and his disciples kicked up a fuss. But when Jesus saw it, he was displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of heaven. He had compassion on the children. He had compassion on the women. You remember the other day, the Samaritan woman at the well who, who was marginalized by her own sin. The, 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 the crowd, the, the community uh, uh, looked down upon her for what she had done, for what she was doing. She was marginalized by her own sin, oh. but, but an encounter yeah. 
with the love of the Savior today for a whole life. He had compassion on her. He, he could have sentenced her, but he had compassion on her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Others, he had compassion on others who, who were placed on the edges of society. Yes. The tax collector. Yeah. The publican. Yeah. The common people. The poor. Yeah. The sick. The suffering. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank the you. The divine Lord. compassion of Jesus would completely change the members of this ostracized out group and transform them into God's kingdom uh -huh. citizens. It don't matter where you come from. Yeah. It, do, it don't matter how you began. Yeah. It don't matter how you got on the road. Yeah. As long as you get on the road yeah. and stay on the road yeah. with Jesus. Yeah. 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 Story is told of a man bleeding to death outside of the hospital. Christopher Searcy was playing basketball with his friends on May 16, 1998, when he was shot in the chest and a bullet perforated his aorta. His friends helped him to get him within 40 feet of the entrance to Ravenswood Hospital, and then went inside and asked for help. The hospital staff refused to help Christopher, saying that it was against the hospital's policy to administer aid to those outside of the hospital. Wow. Eventually, a policeman was able to get a wheelchair and wheeled Christopher into the hospital mm -hmm. where they helped him, where he was helped by the hospital staff, but it was too late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was too late. Mm -hmm. However, Christopher died mm -hmm. about an hour later. Mm -hmm. Thanks a second. How many times? It seems that churches are surrounded by people that desperately need to hear the gospel. Yeah. Yet, Christians, because of their callousness towards compassion, mm. are content to share it only with those that manage to come on the inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in the process, people are dying because we're not venturing outside. outside. Mm -hmm. When is the church going to operate in the in the confines of divine compassion. Yeah. When is the church going to look past the faults of others and share the gospel of Jesus Christ regardless of their place in life? Yeah. Here in the text, Jesus was on the way to the cross. A great company of people followed him and women were wailing and lamenting. Look at Jesus in his compassion saying, don't weep for me. That's right. Mm -hmm. But weep for yourselves and for your children yeah. because of what's going to be coming later on. Yeah. His thoughts are of the far off sufferings of others rather than those that were falling upon him. Mm -hmm. When we look at his compassion, we see, second point, his agony. Mm -hmm. The Greek word for agony, agonia, is a grueling struggle that emphasizes pressure and great fear that is experienced in an intentional, in intense and personal way. Yeah. The crucifixion sometimes began with a scourging or flogging of the victim's back. The Romans used a whip called the flagrum, which I already told you about. It consisted of small pieces of bone and metal attached to a number of leather strands. The number of blows given to Jesus yeah. is not recorded. However, the number of blows in the Jewish law was 39. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. One less than 40 yeah. in the Torah to prevent a counting error. Mm -hmm. During the scourging, the skin was ripped off the back, yeah. exposing yeah. the body, bloody mass of tissue and bone. Yeah. Extreme blood loss occurred, often causing death or at least unconsciousness. Mm -hmm. In addition to the flogging, Jesus faced a severe beating and torment by the Roman soldiers, yeah. including the plucking of his beard and the piercing of his scalp with a crown of thorns. Look at this man in the middle. Yeah. After the flogging, the victim was often forced to carry his own crossbar, the patabellum, to the execution That's site. Right. Uh -huh. The patabellum could easily weigh upwards of 100 pounds. Yeah. After yeah. being beat, 
after yeah. being having loss of blood, yeah. he had to carry yeah. his yeah. own yeah. Oh. cross. Yeah. 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 In the case of Jesus, the record shows that he may have carried his patabellum the distance of over two football fields. Wow. In a weak and tormented state, it is no wonder the record establishes that Jesus needed a great deal of assistance. Walking two football field lengths yeah. mm -hmm. after being beaten, yeah. scorched, mm -hmm. is hard. Yeah. You try walking two football length fields in the middle of the summer here, ah, yeah. 120 degrees. Yeah, yeah. See how you feel that. Yeah, right? yeah. Very weak. Yeah. In a weak and tormented state, it's no wonder the record establishes that Jesus needed a great deal of assistance. The palabellum was put on the ground and, and the victim was forced to lie upon it. Mm -hmm. Spikes about seven inches long and three quarters, three eighths of an inch thick in diameter were driven into his wrist. So when, when, when you see Jesus, yeah. Yeah. he's just not up there looking pretty. He went through it for you and for me. All the stuff that you... That 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 he went through yeah. the beating, all of that is yeah. on him. Yes, it is. The blood, yeah. the ripped skin, yeah. spikes being driven through his yeah. his his wrists yeah. and his feet. Yes, a spear being plunged yeah. into his side. He he yeah. he, he did that. Yeah. For you see you this man Thank in you. the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Already standing at the crucifixion would be the side of a seven-foot-tall post called Stipes. In the center of the stipe was a crude seat to support the victim. The patabellum was often lifted to the stipes. The victim's body was awkwardly turned on the seat so the feet would be nailed to the stipes. At this point, there was a tremendous strain put on the wrists, arms, and shoulders, resulting in dislocation of the shoulder and elbow joints. The position of the nailed body held the victim's rib cage mm. in a fixed position, Jesus. which made it extremely difficult to exhale yeah. Yeah. and impossible to take a full breath. Mm. Having suffered from the scourging, the beatings, and the walk with the patabellum, Jesus was described as extremely weak mm -hmm. and dehydrated. Yeah. He was yeah. probably losing significant amounts of blood. As time passed, the blood, the loss of blood and lack of oxygen will cause severe cramps, yes. spasmodic con contractions, yes. and probably unconsciousness. Yes. Ultimately, Jesus. the mechanism of death and crucifixion was Jesus. suffocation. Jesus. The breathe, the, to breathe, the victim was forced to push up mm. on his feet to allow the inflation of the lungs. As the body weakened and the pain in the feet and legs became unbearable, the victim was forced to trade breathing for pain and exhaustion. Yes, yes. Eventually, the victim would succumb in his own way, becoming utterly exhausted or lapsing into unconsciousness so that he could no longer lift his body off of the stipes yeah, yeah. or inflate his lungs. Mm, my Lord. Due to the shallow breathing, the victim's lungs would be began to collapse in areas, mm -hmm. probably causing hypoxia. Mm -hmm. Due to the loss of blood from the scourging, the victim probably formed a respiratory acidosis, mm -hmm. yeah. resulting in an increased strain on the heart, yeah. Yeah. which beats faster to compensate. <gasps> Fluid would build up in the lungs. Under the pressure and stress of hypoxia and acidosis, the heart would eventually fail. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at yeah. this man yeah. in the middle. Yeah. This man in the middle went through all yeah. of that. And I hear the refrain. I hear the refrain. I hear the refrain. Calvary. 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 Surely. He died on Calvary. And when you see his agony, you will see his purpose. Yeah. Amen. 
When you look at Jesus, read that that he was unyielding in his purpose to redeem mankind. He didn't let nothing stop. Uh -huh. He died. Christ died to fulfill Old Testament prophecy. In Isaiah chapter 63, he deals with the death of Jesus. 700 years before Jesus lived, right. his life and death are foretold. That's right. Christ's death on the cross was to reconcile Jew and Gentile. Yeah. Christ's death on the yeah. cross was to purchase the church with his blood. Amen. Christ's death on the cross was to redeem man from their sins. Amen. Christ's yeah. death on the cross was to do his father's will. Yeah. His whole life was to show us yeah. the father. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, would you agree with me that, that we are the purpose of the cross? We are the purpose of the cross. Don't, 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 don't sit here like you got it all together. You are the purpose of the cross. You are why Christ died on the cross. And now you are why he was beaten. We are why he was beaten beyond recognition. We are why a crown of thorns are placed on it. We are why he was pierced in the side. We are why they spat upon him. We are why they ridiculed him. We did. And he did it for us because he had compassion. That was his, his purpose. Hebrews chapter 12 and 2, the Holy Scriptures reveal to us this truth. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. John chapter 3 Verse 17 says, For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, yeah. but that the world through him All might right. be yeah. saved. Yeah. Look at the man yeah. in the middle. That was his purpose. Yeah. Look at Jesus on that old rugged cross. He's, a, yeah. he's about to give up the yeah. ghost yeah. as you stare, yeah. as you stare upon him yeah. at the man in the middle. Yeah. Second Baptist, yeah. understand this: that the most significant thing about Jesus' suffering was that he was not in any sense the victim of circumstance. He was in total control. He, he laid down his life. John chapter 10 verse 18, the record informs us Jesus' words, no one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my... He did it! He wasn't forced to do it. He did it because he had compassion. On you and I. Yeah, yeah. He did. Thank you, you see, it, 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 it's an awful thing to be forced to do, to endure such torture, but to freely choose to endure this torture is out of love. He did it out of love. He chose to endure this torture. I wish you could see it. He chose to do it for you. He chose to do it. His remarkable love. His praise word. His foot stomping. Hallelujah. When, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. And all that he's done for me. My soul cries out. Because of that man, I have a refuge. 
For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You can have eternal life starting today if you don't have it already. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had, had left a, a crimson stain, but he washed me. White. Yes. So he can wash you today, my brother and my sister. Those of you listening by the airwaves, he can wash you whiter than snow. Your past can be forgiven. You can start anew in, in Jesus Christ on today. He'll walk with you. He'll talk with you. He'll give you strength. He'll give you courage. This man in the middle. At this time, we ask that you would make ready for communion. He died for you and me. But he also reminded us of a risen Savior who lives to the glory of God. And because he lives, we live. And because he lives, those who have placed their faith in him They have hope. They have hope. They have hope. 
Don't miss it. They have hope. Yeah. Didn't you hear him when he said it didn't matter where you came from? He still delivers. He's still able. The same Jesus over 2,000 years ago who was healing and restoring and delivering. He rose just as he said he would. And he lives forevermore. We have much to rejoice on this morning. It is our prayer that we will continue to tell the story wherever we go about a risen Savior who we have a personal relationship with. Amen. That being said, we thank God for using the messenger on this yeah, morning. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Lord. This actually concludes our service this morning. We're going to have our Lord's Supper, but we're going to go ahead and get the benediction at this point. So we ask that you would stand. Let the church. to those who do not know you as part of their sin. We thank you once again for all your many blessings. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ and they all sing together.